So you've built up your entire refined storage network and it is looking good, let me tell you. But what if you want to access it wirelessly or you want to extend it wirelessly over your gargantuan base? Well, there's a few different ways to do it. First up, let's look at extending the network um, over areas. Let's say I've got my base over here and I've got this wonderful storage network, but I actually want to do some stuff over this canyon here, over here. And I don't want to be, you know, having these cables coming all the way over here. So what do I do? I'm going to need a network transmitter, a network card, and a network receiver. So the network transmitter, what I want you to do is place that at your main network, which is obviously this one. It's in the name. It's transmitting from this network to somewhere else. And then over here, well, I'm just going to do it over here because where I have my example set up, is where I'm transmitting it to, the receiver. This is receiving the network signal. As you can see, I have an external storage um, interface and a chest set up. And this has in it, let's do something unique that I'm not going to have already, 1K storage blocks. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go into my network transmitter and I'm going to get my, you, say, you see it says here, missing network card. Okay, I need a network card. And I'm going to right click it on the receiver. Okay, nothing really comes up, but if you hover over it, it says link to you know, XYZ. I then go into my network transmitter. And I put the network card in and you can see it says it's eight blocks away. Now what I've done here is I've linked it up with a cable to a s external storage. So I wanted to show you external storage at the same time because this is kind of another way of expanding outside of your network. Rather than using disks and drives and all of this, you can actually add an external storage interface onto a storage device like a chest. And what this means is that whatever is in this chest is now in your network. We have actually extended a network to an external storage. So these 64K, 64 1K storage blocks are now in the network because of the external storage and also because of the network receiver, which is receiving it from this network transmitter with a network card. So when I look in here, I can now see 64 1K storage blocks, even though it's all the way over there. Another thing you can make is a portable grid. Um, this is actually interesting. Now, the portable grid does not connect to your network. It's actually a portable disk viewer. So you need to charge it up. I would use something like a creative energy cube, you know, from Mechanism, anything that can charge items. You put it into this slot here, for example. Refined storage doesn't add an item that does this. You need to use another mod to charge it. And what I can do is I can right click it in the air and you can see there's nothing in here. And I can take a 16K storage disk, which already has stuff in it, put it in this top right slot, and I can access it. And I can import and export to the system. So it's a portable way. It can only hold one disk, but it's a portable way of having a little mini network. I can also right, shift right click it on the ground to place it down, and I can access it that way and link it up to export or import from the system as well if I wish. And then lastly, what we have is wireless grids. Wireless grids um, actually connect to the network here. So what I'm going to do is place a wireless transmitter down. If I right click on it, you can see it's a 16 blocks. That is how far I can go. Now, I can actually add range upgrades. I could put one in here and it's 24 blocks. And then it goes up to 48 blocks. Some add-ons to refined storage will give you crazy big um, ranges, but basically this wireless transmitter will now transmit this network 48 blocks away. And I could just right click into my wireless grid and you can see here it can access um, the items that are in the nearby network. It's literally like your phone is connecting to your wireless, um, your Wi-Fi at home, if you will. And that is all there is to it, to wireless networks. I love a little thing I just want to show you quickly is the detector. Um, on the detector, this is going to emit a redstone signal um, with oak planks. I literally click in oak planks. I put in the amount, 100. You could say when it's above the amount, when it's under the amount, when it's on the amount. So when it's above the amount, there's nothing in here at the moment. I put in over 100. Now it's emitting a redstone signal. You could use this for things, types, fluids, you know, etc. Um, as well. And then one other item you can... Oh, 
Hello down there. <laughs> um, one item you can use as well as a security manager if you're on a server, um, especially if you've got those little wireless networks around, and make a security card, put it in here. Um, and then what you can do is you can say, so if there's no security card, everyone can do everything. If you add a security card, I can say, does this person, can they insert into my network? Can they extract? Can they autocraft? Can they do X, Y, Z? And then I believe you could, can just right-click it onto a player. I can't test it because I'm... Oh, yes, if I shift right click, it then binds it to me. So give it to a player um, or click on them, and it should bind that security card to that player, meaning that whatever is on that configured card will then work for that player. So I bound it to me, and I'm going to say I can only insert and extract, but I can't do auto crafting, etc. And then you can put these security cards into your security manager to manage what players on your server can do what. And when you're working wireless networks, it's all getting a bit crazy. I think these are really, really important on servers. I hope you did enjoy the video. Click that subscribe button if you did, and of course, leave a thumbs up. If you're looking for other mod guides, I do a hell of a lot on this channel. My actual goal on this channel is to complete every major mod in the entirety of Minecraft for Forge, Fabric, etc. If you look at my channel, I have a tech mod shelf, a magic mod shelf, a utility and standalone mod shelf, so ones that aren't in playlists. I also have now mod pack guides as a shelf. So at the moment, I am live streaming through RL Craft, and you can get that, of course, on my lives. I, sh I live every Wednesday and Saturday, and you can always see when the next scheduled stream is. And I play through the mod pack, and then I will also do separate guides on that mod pack. So if you are looking for specific mod packs, or you just want to come along and ask me some questions or hang out, you can also do that there. Do also just use the search bar uh, if you are looking for a specific mod. And if you'd like to play with me, the mod pack that I do live stream, I do from our Patreon server, which of course you can join down below, which would massively support the channel, but also gets you access to things like that.